Subaru built 56% of the next generation 2019 Forester body out of high strength steels ranging from 440 megapascals to gigapascal plus metal in areas like the B pillar and frame rail, a composition which will likely mean body repair restrictions on the OEM's number 2 seller. Subaru sold 177,563 Foresters in 2017, around 11,000 or so behind the OEM's top selling outback, so it's clearly a vehicle repairers will encounter and need to research, particularly shops in regions full of Subaru diehards. Subaru wrote in a news release March 28th. The 2019 Forester is built on the Subaru Global Platform to deliver significantly higher levels of driving pleasure, agility, crash protection, ride comfort and quietness. The Forester's new platform integrates the latest version of the Subaru ring-shaped reinforcement frame design, proven over nearly two decades to provide excellent occupant collision protection. A graphic provided by Subaru describes a body in white which was 44% 270 mpa mild steel, 12% 440 mpa high strength steel, 31% 590 mpa advanced high strength steel, and 6% 980 mpa, 1% 1180 mpa and 6% 1470 mpa ultra high strength steel. The higher the tensile strength, the more OEMs typically restrict sectioning, heat and straightening. Repairers will need to take care and consult Subaru's collision instructions to ensure their repair plans don't compromise the stronger but more sensitive metals or affect Subaru's crash energy management design. For example, heating higher strength steel can reduce its tensile strength and crash worthiness and improper sectioning of the metal can lead to the force of the crash being redirected somewhere that could harm occupants. The 440 mpa high strength steel can be found in what appear to be crush zones between the Forester's front frame rails and bumper beams, the floor, and a T-shaped area between the B-pillar and frame rail. The last of these are likely meant to manage side impact energy in a controlled manner. Honda's similar-looking soft zones on the next-generation Civic serve this function. The radiator support is also 440 mpa high-strength steel, which might affect the ability of aftermarket manufacturers to copy it and remain competitive on price. The 590 mpa advanced high-strength steel can be found in areas including the transmission tunnel, floor cross members, front, main and rear frame rails, B-pillar, and the front bumper beam. The 980 mpa ultra-high strength steel appears in the A-pillar and continues back the entire roof rail to the C-pillar. It also can be found in the main frame rail and a large floor cross member just behind the B-pillar. The 1180 mpa steel was used in the main frame rail sandwiched between the 590 mpa and 980 mpa steel and in the roof cross member spanning the car between the B pillars. Finally, the 1470 mpa steel can be found in the B pillar, rear bumper beam and in what appears to be the back of the front bumper beam. Subaru plans to make all of its next-generation models using the new global auto body platform through at least 2025, so if techs familiarize themselves with the automaker's recommendations, they should be relatively comfortable with all next-gen Subarus. But a technician wrong about one element of the modular platform's repair will likely repeat the error across all the global platform Subarus he or she encounters. Of course, given the rapid technological change, the technician might have to adapt multiple times before the platform becomes obsolete. Subaru wrote about the platform in 2016, the platform anticipates further improvements in strength and new materials and has the potential to continue to offer the world's highest levels of collision safety even in 2025. While couldn't reproduce the Forester body in white diagram specifically, Subaru did give us this look at the 2017 Subaru Impreza wagon skeleton. 
It shares the same global platform and some of the characteristics of its 2019 sister vehicle and might give you some of an idea what will be coming on the Forester. After 8 years and more than 300,000 sold, the Nissan LEAF remains one of the most popular electric cars around. Now it's helping to spark an energy revolution in the UK. Like Tesla, Nissan's electric ambitions extend beyond vehicles. Nissan wants to bring eco-friendly power to homes too. They're doing it by pairing solar panels with reconditioned batteries from LEAF EVs. The entry-level Nissan solution is now selling for £7,635 in the UK. In US dollars, that's roughly $10,000. That's for a six-panel system capable of producing 4 kilowatts, and the price includes a 6 kilowatt hours X storage battery, installation costs, and taxes. Nissan's solar kit is substantially cheaper than a comparable one from Tesla, but most traditional panel setups are. Homeowners can customize their systems any way they choose. Want more power producing potential? Add another half dozen panels. Need more energy storage? Tack on an extra battery. And while Nissan rightfully touts the recycled leaf battery packs offered with their solar systems you do have another option. If you'd prefer to have fresh, new batteries installed along with your solar array Nissan will be happy to oblige. Maybe you like the thought of the reconditioned batteries and just want some peace of mind to go with them. Nissan is also offering extended warranties up to 10 years to put you at ease. Nissan estimates that its basic system can save the average homeowner about 66% on their energy bills. For someone spending around £600 a year on electricity, that's a savings of £400. If the panels really do last 40 years, as Nissan claims they can in the press release, then buyers can expect around two decades of power production after their ongoing savings have cancelled out the upfront cost. Britons who move quickly might be able to pay it down more quickly. It all depends on how much power they can pump back into the grid before they stop getting paid for their excess production. The new generation 2019 Subaru Forester with intelligent boxer power is coming with electric technology. Torque News broke the story back in April about a Chinese model, and now Subaru says the new 2019 Forester e-boxer hybrid will be available for pre-order in the Japan market. Subaru released engine specs on the fifth-generation 2019 Forester e-boxer and the SUV will be powered by the newly developed 2.0-liter direct injection engine coupled with an AC synchronous electric motor. Subaru says it will offer improved performance over the standard 2.5-liter Forester Boxer. Subaru will use the newly updated 2.0-liter direct injection horizontally opposed engine plus electric technology producing the e-Boxer. It will use a lithium-ion battery, and Subaru says it will include SI drive. With the 2.0-liter gas engine coupled with the electric motor, the Japanese automaker says acceleration of the Forester e-Boxer will exceed that of the 2.5-liter gas model. The 2.0-liter Boxer engine produces 145 picoseconds and 188 newton-meters of torque. The AC synchronous motor produces 13.6 picoseconds and 65 newton-meters of torque. The system is mated to a full-time all-wheel drive system, and Subaru's Lean Artronic CVT automatic transmission. Subaru did not release fuel mileage estimates. This will give the e-Boxer a total output of 187 pounds FT of torque. The new 2.5-liter Forester gas engine produces 182 horsepower and 176 pounds FT of torque. Subaru also announced the Forester e-Boxer will come standard with X-Mode for extreme off-road use and EyeSight for improved safety.
Subaru announced the new 2019 Subaru Forester hybrid model will be sold in China and now the Japan market. It's not clear if Subaru will also bring the new 2019 Forester e-boxer hybrid to US shores.